Hello, I'm Don McLean with Gromark Ontario. Today, in the next part of our Outstanding in Your Field series, we're here up near Alliston uh, to, in a winter canola field to talk a little bit about IPM in, in canola. Al, what are you looking for and what were you doing there? Um, I was sweeping the canola field for cabbage seed pod weevil. Those are those little black critters that you can see on the net. They bore a hole in the developing pods, lay an egg in the pod, and then the <coughs> eggs hatch and the little worm eats all the canola inside the pod. And it's frustrating because you can't tell until you harvest that there's no canola in there. As you can see, we do have a significant population of seed pod weevil. The threshold is 30 per 10 sweeps, and we are very close to that. Yeah. There is the odd flea beetle here. Excellent. Al, and uh, those flea beetle that we saw jumping off there, what are they doing in the spring canola? As these are examples of spring canola just just emerging and uh, it's aptly named because it's small and dark like the seed pod weevil we don't have any specimens here but you will notice if you do see them in your field they they move very quickly and they will jump just like a flea there is the odd flea beetle here those are the ones that are popping off and uh, they're very small but they do impact uh, the canola emerging canola plants significantly with the uh, leaf damage there and the flea beetle uh, basically chews on the leaves and can severely defoliate them and if you do have more than 25 percent defoliation action should be taken um, and this is after a significant rainfall and there still was flea beetle in the field so as usual scout your fields and and uh, if you have any questions please call us because uh, you don't need to impact your yield. Perfect. Thanks, Al. Think of FS for all your crop input needs this spring.